Good evening. Does an organiser being charged with fraud hurt the Black Lives Matter movement? Yeah, this is a Black Lives Matter organiser charged with fraud over a fundraiser which has links to the campaigning group. And this is uh, uh, Zara Salim, who's going to appear before magistrates in January, charged with two counts of fraud by abuse of position of trust. The charges follow an investigation into a BLM fundraising page, uh, which was for the demonstration that ended in the toppling of Edward Colston statue in 2020. Now, we've seen this before. There's been yeah. some sort of dodgy characters within BLM. Yeah. And there was the, the, the woman who basically bought a massive... They're what all, was it, a beach house in Malibu or something, they something mansions, like that? Yeah. They've got mansions. And Support she, the working man, and they're sitting there with yeah. seven swimming pools. And yeah, so, so that kind of undermines the, their yeah. Marxist credentials, at Ex least. Yeah, because, exactly, yeah. yeah. So she's been lying. Yeah, black lies matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think that, you know, was this intentional? Was this, I mean, people gave money... I'm sure it was, yeah. ...feeling that this was a cause that they supported... And that you know yeah. that they that they cared about. But she's quite and young, right? She's twenty two, so maybe she's just bad at maths or something. Yeah. Well, you think that's all it yeah. is? Yeah. Benefit of the doubt. Do you think that's right? Maybe, maybe. it's a mistake. I, I think what I think I think it's actually very sad because obviously with the murder of George Floyd, every, tensions were very very high, and then Black Lives Matter came in, yeah, and then people got carried away. And a lot of it was due to the pandemic, actually. Yes. Because if you think about the Black Lives Matter demonstrations, what happened a week before is that people actually forget that, but literally a week before, people were ready to kill Dominic Cummings. In many ways, right. the biggest supporter of BLM was Dominic Cummings because he right? actually saved their, his life. But if you think about it, you know, people with BLM is that what they said and what they actually were were two different things. Like people say that they said Black Lives Matter, and of course Black Lives Matter, every, every right-thinking person believes in it. But if you look at what the actual organisation is, the, what they espoused, what they believed in, those two things were completely incongruous. Well, it was, it was Marxist, but also if you looked on their website at the time, I remember looking, and I, th I thought it was odd at the time because journalists weren't looking at the website. Because they wouldn't... It, and it, it was that's saying not explicitly... True. They were afraid it, to look at the actual... Well, it, 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 said, it said yeah. things like, we're going to dismantle the nuclear family and break... And, uh, you know, break down cis heteronormative whatever. And yeah. it's like, that doesn't sound very much to do with George Floyd or police brutality. No. There no. are all these other things sort of wrapped up within it, and it's almost like they relied on people's good nature. But look, we don't know what's going to happen in this particular case because it's, you know, it's, this is someone I don't know what her position is, but we do know that there has been some dodgy stuff going on in the past mm. with yeah. these people buying houses and all the rest of it. And it's, it just seems like a shame, really. Anyway, we're going to move on to another.